Thank you for clicking on a, another episode of L.A. Noir. My name is Hijinx, and we're going to keep playing. You like how I get right into it? I don't waste your time, baby. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Dull as dishwater, but I'm not willing to Lichtman. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Well, damn, 20 G. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. got to be more in these files what am i Clicking on paper clip, right? Yeah, no, okay. Is it the signature? Dude, you're not helping me like, at all here. Well, there we go. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Is that it? Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. I'm just playing as Kelso now? What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Real. What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? You and Buckwalter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. I'm just confused, Miss Lichtman. What's so difficult about accepting this money? I don't like your attitude, Mr. Kelso. That's okay. I'm not selling it. A good response. Oh, wait. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. True. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? If you wish to simply interrogate me for your own enjoyment, Mr. Kelso, then I will answer no more questions. Here is my number. Call me when you're prepared to help. I'll be in touch. What on earth is 
that man doing? Okay. It's all reviewed, right? Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Why do I gotta play as this goon? Or what if I've been dogging him the whole time and he's actually like a good guy? Might. I'm so like. I'm so I just confused. wish you'd hurry up and propose already. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis. This is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. You two-faced son of a bipolar-looking bitch. Hey, you suck. I saw the way you hit that. Goddamn Bruins are having a season. Your car, Mr. Kelso. What? Thanks, kid. The hell am I playing as Kelso? Why? How did this happen? Why did this happen? find a screenshot later. I was trying to see if there was one there. Uh, uh. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Uh-oh. Bulldozing and starting again. Hmm. All right. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. You old geezer. Oh, look at those prices. I never even noticed that, man. Look what $10,000 gets you. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and... You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're... Piece him up, piece him up. 
Take another. This guy's been a dick the whole time. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Because he just got your ass beat, that's why. Ripping, bro. The place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Not for construction use. I think that's supposed to like. No? Okay. Let me see. Oh, okay. That guy looks, looks like something. You you won't jump down there? You bro and where were you go, man? All the way around the house, huh? There are no call folks. Try to piece this together. That's not right. Seriously, you can't tell what this says. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Oh, this dude's out for blood, man. Suck, bitch. Cop. Ah! Oh, I was at the heady. Did you see him put that thing up, man? That... Here, bitch. All right, go, 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 go. Who's on my ass? Oh my god! <laughs> I can't see him. Drop that one! You're just gonna walk away? Are you stuck in the cement? What are you doing? Kelso. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not willing for the conversation. 
Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Can you look at this clown? Like, what? Literally had that dude dead to rights. I just had a look down. Kelso, you a punk. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. No problem. Watch me. Watch me work. Shit. I don't know where I'm going, though. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the suburban redevelopment. Dr. Got the money. This is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So... How much one of a secret meeting in LA? Leland. Cannot throw him up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public God housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds via the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. 
The suburban redevelopment plan places speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. No. He's our latest investor in the suburban redevelopment fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short Depend. step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. They're true. But I think we could all agree that this Alright, is there anything else here though? I just want to make sure. Horse. It's a horse. Oh, is the phone in here? Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. Oops. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. It's Michigan. Hello. Ms. Lichtman, oh. it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work that tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. I'll feel the same, Mr. Kelso. Thanks for your help. And don't suppose that I'll make a plea. Just come in to say hi. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. And he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves the chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Yo, 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 she's on me on break, Cole. 
and send her back to work in one piece, my guy. Ah, uh, okay. Guess now we're just gonna reinvestigate everything that. I fast travel there. Hell yeah. Um, all right. This isn't creepy at all. You go that way. Okay. What is it? What is it? Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. This is the room. I'm s right? You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Ooh. Let's put a few. <laughs> Three meatheads with an area. Right, for you to lose some team. Oh, oh shit, hold on. Man's got some skills here. I'm about to break the goddamn jump. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm hitting the space. This Don't messed worry, up. buddy. I'll lay you out quick. Lay them all Kelso, give him the business. No, Kelso, no. Where's Phelps? Oh, shit. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. They brought me inside the fence anyway. Shit, I wanted this, right? Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> Was it a car backfire? I was like, what? Am I even in the trunk? I am. Elsa. Oh, shit. Is 
the only vehicle around. Okay, well. What the hell? Sorry, pal. Desperate times. I didn't mean for that to happen. I did. Oh, they're gonna go parallel with me. Wow, game. I'm gonna do this. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. Oh, there's two cars on me. Hold on. I need to find this. Oh, yo, 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 there's a pedestrian. I'm gonna answer the door and I call. Like, what are you doing here with my lady? Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Uh... Okay, so I... I'll take that as a win. Thank you for watching another episode of LA Nor. My name is Hijinx. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please tune in. Keep up. Uh, I'm going to be uploading these at least twice a week as of right now. And hopefully the end of the game is soon. And then we'll start playing other things. Other things.